guys, how's it going? Palin here, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome to have you guys here for another video. So in today's video, we're working with a new sponsor to the channel and the company is called RimGuard and they're based out in Sweden. This company makes wheel locks for a variety of vehicles on the market and frankly, based off of the design and my first impressions working with these products, I think this is gonna be the most secure set of wheel locks that you could purchase for your OEM wheels. So I'm really excited because they didn't only send me one set of wheel locks, they actually sent me a second set. Now the first set that RimGuard has chosen to send to me are designated for the OEM wheels on my 2020 Honda Civic Si. And the second set is going to be installed by me onto a 10th gen Accord that is owned by a woman named Anne, uh, who actually lives about two towns over from where I'm at. And there's a really cool story behind Anne's involvement with RimGuard, the company, um, in terms of getting them on board to really design a specific set of wheel locks for the Honda platform. But more details on that once we actually tackle the install and also get to the install on her vehicle. Now, I do want to clarify that again, these wheel locks are designed for OEM wheels, not even OEM replicas, OEM wheels to be specific. But for me personally, when I actually am going to shop for uh, a second set of wheels for, with summer tires for my Civic, I'll definitely consider trying my best to find a pair that might work with these wheel locks too. And if I end up finding an aftermarket set of wheels that fit these wheel locks, you guys will be the first to know. But for now, just make sure that Again, if you're purchasing a set of wheel locks, that these wheel locks are designed for OEM wheels, not aftermarket wheels. So let's dive right into the unboxing and I'll take apart the wheel locks and try my best to show you guys what really makes these wheel locks so secure. All right. So first thing you'll notice out of the box is the four individual rim guard locking modules. In addition to that, you're gonna see a little Allen key tool. You're gonna to have some putty with some little spare parts here for I think the locking mechanism. This putty is actually really awesome to remove the center cap of your cars before installing the rim guard uh, wheel locks. Aside from these parts here, you'll see that there's a center box. And the first thing that comes out of the box is this contact card. Connected to it, of course, is going to be a set of two keys. Now you only see one here because I've Already taken one off and put it onto my own personal set of keys for my Civic. But anyways, if you ever lose the key or if you ever need an extra set of keys, use the contact form on the back of this card to get in touch with RimGuard and the company that actually manufactures the locking cylinder for the RimGuard module. Taking the wheel lock cylinders out of the box here, you can see that there's four. They're, they're pretty, pretty hefty. They're kind of heavy actually. But here, let me show you guys what they look like in person and they fit right into the rim guard module and then basically you take the key, lock them in place and virtually it's impossible to remove the entire assembly after you do that. The last thing that you're going to get inside this box in the center here is this tool um, and this tool is basically going to allow you to uh, loosen and tighten this locking nut in the middle here and that then once it's loosened completely allows you to take apart the back um, locking ring that essentially fits behind uh, the wheel where the center cap would normally be. And then once you tighten it back down together, it essentially sandwiches the device onto the wheel. And with these five little arms or six or however many is for that specific wheel design, these arms here are the basically the reason why nobody will have access to those lug nuts in order to steal your wheels or steal your tires afterwards. All right, so before we actually get started on the installation, I just wanted to share my experience with my first attempt installing this wheel lock kit because I found that there was a conflict in terms of fitment with my OEM lug nuts. To just keep it short and sweet, uh, my girlfriend's dad, Moro, uh, saw that in the kit that comes with the car that basically allows you to remove the OEM locking lug nuts that basically has this little like socket here to allow you to remove those locking lug nuts. The kit normally comes with four replacement lug nuts in the event that you ever want to remove those locking lug nuts and then just replace them with factory lug nuts. The ones that came in the bag were actually shorter by about 0.3 to 0.4 centimeters um, than the current set that are on my car. So this one here was the one that came with the locking lug nut socket. And then this one here is the one that was installed on my car. So as soon as I saw that this lug nut was shorter, I took a couple measurements to make sure that the stud wouldn't actually hit the uh, upper like top portion of this lug nut when I thread everything in place and torque it down. And I found that there was plenty of room to fit this shorter lug nut on. So lo and behold, I threw four of these lug nuts onto one wheel, kept the locking lug nut on that same wheel, and then boom, these wheel locks fit on like a glove. So I was stoked to know that it was just a simple fix with shorter lug nuts in order to get these wheel locks to fit my wheels. Cause I was starting to get concerned that there was something else that I was missing that was conflicting with the fitment. So to share some bad news, I contacted a local Honda parts dealership to see what it would cost to get a full set 
of these lug nuts that are shorter in order to fit the rest of the modules onto my car. And they quoted me at $8 or so for just one lug nut. That's ridiculous in my opinion, and that's way overpriced. Instead of actually purchasing it from the parts dealer, I actually found a used set on eBay for $16. And I literally placed an order for those set of lug nuts just now, and it should arrive in a couple days. I don't have any frustration with RimGuard in regards to this fitment issue. This is simply something that I think is outside of their control. Every company that does car part manufacturing has limitations as to what cars that they have access to. So a small thing like a different size lug nut that might be available for a US variant of a car might not have been the case for a car or an equivalent Civic or Accord that might have been available in Sweden. Who knows, maybe there's a different set of lug nuts that are designated for those cars, but fact of the matter is it's very interesting to know that both of these style of lug nuts, regardless of it's longer or shorter, um, these specific two lug nuts are able to fit onto the studs with my OEM wheels just fine. Anyways, long story short, make sure that your lug nuts are the right length in order to compensate for how the uh, rim guard module will fit onto your OEM wheels. And if that all checks out, I think you guys will have no issues because the, everything else size-wise should match up perfectly. Whew, that was a lot to talk about. But anyways, let's get to the install. All right, so we're outside the apartment. I got the car kind of parked up in here in the parking lot. Pretty much putting myself in the shoes of the average person that's gonna be installing these, which is you're probably gonna be installing these outside. You probably don't have a garage, because if you did, you probably wouldn't even need to be installing a set of wheel locks to begin with. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how quickly you can install these wheel locks and how easy it is to install them. Okay, so first step, I recommend you just clean off with some isopropyl alcohol on the center cap just a little bit. I previously cleaned this wheel off a little bit. I didn't really do a thorough cleaning, but definitely want to just clean the area around the center cap first so that the putty that you're going to use to remove it sticks really nicely. Next thing you're going to need is the actual putty that they supply in the kit. Take the putty out. Now I've actually already done this once before so normally this putty is going to be in like a long string so you have to take the wrapper off and then just bundle it up like this. Now you press it all onto the cap like so and now I'm actually going to use the actual box that it came in Press it on the cap like this. Grab both sides and quickly pull back. Center cap pops off just like that. Now, when you remove the putty off the center cap, carefully peel it back because you might be able to break the emblem if you pull it off too hard. So just carefully peel it back. Put the putty back in the box so it doesn't get contaminated so you can use it on your other wheels. All right, now you take the rim guard module, get the special tool that they supply with, loosen everything by hand. Once you got the locking ring taken apart, separate it like so, place it inside the hub, and close it up. Now, I actually recommend aligning one of these two tabs in the front so that it is perfectly in line with one of the lug nuts here. And the reason because is because you can see that on one of these legs here, there's like a channel right here that the uh, two kind of like nubs on this locking ring need to fit into. So aligning one of these with one of the lug nuts allows you to really easily thread everything in place once you line this one up to that lug nut like so. Line everything up there. Should fit nice and snug. Take the tool, thread it down by hand until it bottoms out there. Take the Allen key now with that tool. Keep going, keep going, keep going, turn it and then get it nice and hand tight, just like that. What I actually noticed removing it for the first time, the uh, inner edge of this module is gonna basically uh, sit very tight inside of where the center cap used to be. So you might need to take a plastic pry tool just to pry it back out um, carefully so that you don't scuff up any of the paint. So that's just something to be aware about once you remove it. But anyways, now that this is all tightened down by hand, all you gotta do is take this locking mechanism Take the key that came with the kit. You wanna turn it so all the flat sides match. And then you take the lock cylinder with the key attached to it, insert it into the wheel lock. Make sure all the teeth line up like so. Lock it and then pull the key out. And then you've installed the entire module. Now the last step of course is to take your center cap and then press it in place just like so. All right, ladies and gents, that practically took me probably in total five minutes to install. And I can imagine that all the other wheels are probably gonna go on just as smooth. Now I gotta wait for the other set of lug nuts to come in the mail, and then I'll install the three remaining locking modules, clean the car up for a little bit, and then take a bunch of beauty shots for you. 
All right, got the new lug nuts in the mail. Let's get the rest of these wheel locks installed. I also just got a new Milwaukee impact wrench. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna make my life a lot easier for today. All right, now I've taken the center cap off of this wheel, which I've replaced with the new uh, shorter lug nuts for this wheel. And if you go to this wheel, I have yet to install the shorter lug nuts onto the wheel itself. So I just want to kind of show you guys exactly the fitment concerns I had originally uh, using one of the modules as an example. So as you'll see, the inner edge of this module here won't sit flush with where the center cap used to be on this wheel. So putting it up against it, you can physically feel that it's making contact with the lug nuts. And then if you peek over the top there, actually, let me try to rotate it so you guys can see this like little group, this little opening here. So if I were to put it like this, yeah, there you go. Now you can clearly see that there's a gap that I can even stick my thumb into, just like that. Now, if I were to transfer this same module onto the wheel that I installed the shorter lug nuts onto, Boom, you can see that it sits very flush and I can't even stick my finger in there. And after you actually press it in, it kind of holds itself in place and it takes a little bit of effort just to take it apart because this inner uh, edge here sits nice and flush with the center cap now with these shorter lug nuts. So yeah, I'm relieved that it was a really simple fix just to get shorter lug nuts um, that are still compatible with the wheel studs and the wheel itself. So thankfully that was a quick fix. So just to be clear, this might not be applicable to you. You just want to check the length of your lug nuts just to make sure that there are no uh, issues when installing this wheel lock kit. So you could probably do some research beforehand, use my video as a reference, or once you receive these wheel locks, you'll pretty much know right away whether or not your lug nuts are too long or too short. So hopefully this information is all helpful for you guys to install these wheel locks onto your OEM wheels. I got all the modules installed on all four wheels. And honestly, I really like the way they look with these OEM wheels. Hopefully maybe in the future, they'll offer maybe like a more satin finish for this actual uh, rim guard module. And honestly, the more noticeable difference between the two finishes of black might also be in due part to the wheel still being a little bit dirty. There's a slight haze from like soap residue and some like dust and dirt and stuff on the wheel at the moment. Uh, but I'm sure if I did a full detail on the wheel, the colors between this satin black and this gloss black here would probably match much better. But honestly, if it continues to bother me long term, and really, it's not really something I'm trying to be too picky about, but uh, worst case scenario, if you want something that's closer to this satin finish, what I'd recommend is just get a bottle of Plasti Dip. Probably costs you like five, seven bucks at Home Depot. And you could probably do all four of these modules with one can and get a really nice uh, closer satin finish to the original OEM wheel. So everything is more fit and finish. Now, the next thing that I noticed with the stock uh, center caps is that the actual satin paint around the stock center cap is only really well done on the front face If you were to look around on the edge on the outside edge here You can kind of see that the paint isn't really consistent or looks as good as the front face of the center caps And if you are really picky about it You really could just get some black paint again and just kind of finish off the outer edge here So that again the look is more complete all right, everyone, that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that you found this video helpful to show you guys how really easy it is to install these uh, wheel locks onto your car. And honestly, I, I don't really see any part of this wheel lock assembly being able to be easily removed by any sort of thief. And even if they put maximum effort, it would cause a lot of noise, so it's in their best interest not to even put the effort into any wheel that's equipped with these wheel locks. So if you guys got a set from RimGuard, I really think you guys are gonna be all set and have peace of mind that your wheels are gonna be safe 
and you're gonna come out every single day and expect to have wheels and tires on your cars. Now I'm going to save the installation on the second set of wheel locks for Anne's Honda Accord uh, for another video because it's gonna take a little bit more effort for us to schedule a time for me to visit her at her residence and also install the parts onto her car. So if you guys dig the look on how they look on my OEM wheels in my car and also dig the design of these wheel locks in general, don't forget to leave a like below and also leave me a comment and tell me what you guys think because I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. So I'll leave a product link in the description below. Don't hesitate to explore their website, reach out to them, ask them any questions. There's a couple different finishes available for these wheel locks to accommodate a little bit of a different styling between the OEM wheels for the Honda platform. So with that all being said guys, my name is Powan Song and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.